This tutorial is how to use the plugin for WordPress for the Google XML sitemap generator. This is going to make your search engine ranking a lot higher, so this is a great thing to use to make sure that you're getting a lot of attention and a lot of readers. So what we're going to do, we're going to go into our plugins in WordPress and we're going to go to Add New and we're going to type in Google Sitemaps and we're going to look for the Google XML sitemaps it should be about the fourth one down by Arne Brackhold and we're going to click on install now and we're going to activate it so let's go ahead down and we'll see that XML sitemaps is activated on our site so the next thing that we need to do is actually build our sitemap so we're going to go into the sitemap category underneath our plugins and we're going to click on settings and it's going to bring up all of my settings. It's going to tell us here at the top that our sitemap hasn't been built yet, so let's go ahead and click there to build it for the first time. And it's gone ahead and built my sitemap. Now if you get a problem, now if you get a problem building this on your sitemap, you may have to go into your FTP program and you may have to change the file permissions in the top level public HTML file to 755. Now if you have a problem actually getting in there to change your sitemap and put it up, you may have to go into your FTP program and right click on your public HTML or www folder, click on file permissions and change the 775 to 777 and click OK. So it's gone ahead and zipped my file. If you have to rebuild the sitemap manually, we're going to click on that and we're going to click save and save again as we go down we're going to look at our basic options it's going to allow us to write a normal XML file or a gzipped file now really if you're not quite sure what you're doing with all of these it's a good it's a good idea to just go ahead and leave them all the way they are if you would like Yahoo to get updates when you update your blog you need to click on that and put in your Yahoo ID other than that I'm going to just go ahead and let all of this remain the same now if we scroll further down it's going to ask about additional pages that should be included in the site pack now if we scroll down further we're going to see there are additional pages uh, that you can put to be included in the sitemap uh, but aren't actually in your blog so this could be if you have another website that you want to have attached to it then you're just going to go ahead and click add a new page and you're going to go ahead and put your URL of the page in the priority and then you're going to change the frequency of when it's updated so if you update it all the time you may want to put hourly or daily other than that you may want to put it daily or weekly if you don't update daily or weekly then you probably want to go down to change frequency to weekly you don't want to leave it on always because then it's going to be constantly hitting all of those servers saying that it's updated now the last thing that you may want to do is give the file name a personalized name so just go ahead and type that in or you can put it to a custom location I'm just going to go ahead and let it go to my regular site and I'm going to tell it that I want to include my home page my posts and my static pages if you want to include any of these other options just go ahead and click on them and you can include the last modification time but you don't necessarily have to again if you're not sure what any of these are just leave them on default and you should be fine next are excluded items so you can keep out anything that's uncategorized if you wish or you can exclude some posts or pages now the next box down is for frequencies so if this is for people who decide that they're going to look at pages on an hourly basis or more frequently or less frequently now the next box down is the frequencies and this is basically going to be telling all of the websites how often they should check each of your pages for updates and you can change it to daily monthly weekly etc for all of them I don't change my website very often but I'm just gonna leave that on weekly but you can go ahead and choose how often you want them to check 
and also you can set the priorities of which pages it's going to check first. When you're all done with that, click Update Options, and it's gone ahead and saved that configuration. It may take a few hours for the XML sitemap generator to actually show up on your WordPress blog, but if you look under your admin page and then go down to plugins, you'll see that it's now in Google XML sitemaps. Now that means that whenever anyone goes onto your blog, you can look down here at the bottom on the comments RSS and go ahead and click, and it's going to show us this information. So that's how we install a Google XML sitemap generator, and I hope this helps you out and makes your life a little easier. Thanks for listening.